Hello folks. Well, I uh, broke my uh, shear bolt on this uh, Woods brush bowl. It's a uh, model um, BB60, which is a 60 inch uh, brush cutter. Some people call them Bush Hogs, but Bush Hogs a brand. Uh, this is a uh, Woods. Um, this is a very, very good rotary cutter or brush hog this is it's on its second tractor this uh, was on a uh, Kubota L3700 from 2007 to last summer which is the summer of 2019 so that's 12 years and now it's been cutting on the back of this uh, Kubota L3560 and uh, yesterday I went over a uh, bunch of brush and some logs and which I thought I could make it and I, I broke it uh, I broke the shear the shear bolt so to do the replacement there's a couple of things you got to do one you got to get a shear bolt and I keep my spares oh, let me see here I keep my spares in the little holder here that this thing has let's see if we can see it it's hard to see, but let me bring it over here, but so you can see it. There it is. It's a holder, and uh, and I hope there's a spare in there. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm not. I'm not so sure. We'll have to. Not. I have to turn off this thing and go. A little camera fell down for some reason. I didn't touch it. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but it did. Anyway, here's the new bolt. Uh, I need to find the, uh, I was going to find the old one to save the nut, so, I can, oh, here it is. No, that's just the uh, cracked bolt. The, the nut could be anywhere. Uh, this is the sheared bolt. Now, some of you might be tempted into uh, buying harder grade uh, shear bolts to try uh, to, to keep from them, them from breaking, but that's... That's false economy because you're going to uh, ruin your gearbox eventually, uh, and uh, it's not recommended. Just you know, just change it. It is a little bit of a pain to change, but uh, it's not that hard. So the first thing you got to do is open up the inspection hole here, and this is uh, on this particular. It's a 15 millimeter. It's a 15 millimeter, but. You should get the long kind, but um, this is the inspection hole, and uh, this is so you can turn the, the blades if you need to to turn the PTO. So with this inspection hole open, you can, that's called, uh, what you see there is the stump jumper, which uh, allows you to go over stumps, and the blades are down there somewhere. So that's to access that. Then you might not need to, to turn it that way, but uh, you open it up anyway, just in case. Now, the tools that you're gonna need are right there. Essentially a hammer uh, and two ratchets and on this one the bolts are 19 millimeter or three-quarter inch uh, uh, the, the, the sockets that is and you need two of them because you gotta when you tighten it up you need to tighten it from both sides um, and the hammers to knock out if if the uh, the bolt is stuck in there, which it usually is. Uh, you need to knock it out of there. Now, the next thing you got to do is you got to find 
and that's this this is is bad it's broken so you gotta find where the hole is and I'll, I'll come up and give you a close up if you see in there that's the shaft and right now I'm not where the hole is so I'm gonna have to turn I've, I've turned the uh, the PTO shaft around to see if it's anywhere near, but it's probably on the bottom. So I want it, you want it kind of on the side, uh, right about there, so you, you can hammer it out if necessary. So this is when you have to go underneath and uh, turn the, the blades if you can. And I'm turning it now, and when I get it close to where it is, okay, I can... Now, if you look in there, and let's see, we got a flashlight on here. You see in there a little semicircle? That's the semicircle. That's the bolt stuck in there. Now, obviously, it's off center, so I'm going to have to move the shaft just a little bit to get that in full view. So then I can I can uh, hammer it out. Got it centered now. I should be able to hammer it out. And then it came out. Came out the other side. Here it is. At this point, I'll show you. We've got a clear shot through the thing, through the shaft. And I will insert that, that bolt there into it. Just get it started now. Well, you notice the nuts are like the self, the nylon nuts, so they, the nylon type nuts, so that they. Uh, uh, you don't, they don't come loose. I'm holding the nut on the other side until I get it nice and tight. Okay, just hand tight. Just need to hand tighten it, kind of tight, but not too tight. They don't come off. And at the, this point, it's done. Put that, that's broken as you can see, but it's a safety, it's a safety cover there. Frankly, I don't have anybody riding on the, on the rotary motor or brush hog. <laughs> so. It's really unnecessary for me, but I'm going to tighten this bolt back down. Well, as I was saying before, um, I checked the oil on my uh, transmission earlier this year, and it's never been changed. It doesn't need to be. And it hasn't lost. So, when you use these uh, shear bolts of the right, strength, you're not going to put a lot of stress on the, 
on that uh, transmission and it'll last a longer time. And I hope that was helpful for any of you that blow a shear bolt. See you next time on Tractors with Fred. <laughs>